guys and welcome once more. As always, my name is Frank. Thank you so much because you're watching this video. Guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the version 5 from Nisi Filters filter system. This version is an improvement over the version 3 that they sell before. I personally have the version 2 and I love it, but this version 5, to my liking and to my understanding, is the best system on the market, even compared to those that cost 10 times more. I have switched all of my filter system work to Nisi, and the reason for it is because when you compare the quality of the filters, either for video or photography, they are better than any other brand I know in the market. Even on top of those that cost even 10 times more. In most of the cases, they produce very, very low cast, and in some of the cases, they produce no cast, color cast at all. So to me, that's an important part because it's less time that I need to put on post production. For the version 5, what they have done is that they have improved over their version 3 system, which it was really good already. But I want to show you what it is the version 5, all of the parts that includes on the package and compare it to the very old version 2, which is what I had before. And then we're going to go out on location and show you how simple it is to use this system on the field. Stay tuned and let's take a look at the new version 5 from Nisi Filters. Okay guys, now what we have here is the A7 Mark II, which is we're gonna be using for us to show you how to put the lens on, the filters on the lens and the filter system. And we have the version five filter here. I also gonna show you later on my new additions to the uh, Nisi filters, which are three lens, three filters, one soft grad, six stop grad IRND, one uh, 10 stop, and one three stop. Now I got a three, a six, and a 10, and I got a three and a six grad and T. So let's go ahead with this. As you see here, what I have here is the package. Before the version three used to come with a plastic case with all of the parts, but now what they did is that they improve on that. I love that from Nisi. They are always looking how to get better things at the same or even lower price. And to be honest, I don't see anything else better than this for protection of your filters out there in the market from any other company that sells their filter system. So they send you the version 5 on this really nice leather case, very well protected. When you open it, inside you can see the holder, one of the filter, and three adapters. So let me take this out. They're very well protected. Here we got a 77, a 72, and a 67 thread adapter. You can ask them for different adapter sizes, but this is basically what it comes standard with. Now, after that, what we have here is the polarizer, and the polarizer goes inside the threaded at the, the adapter. This is really nice. As you see, it's a little bit dirty. I've been using it a lot doing this test, and now what we have here is the system, is the filter adapter itself. I'm going to take this away, I'm going to put this away, and I'm going to show you. This is, it is a two-part filter system. First is the part that goes into the lens. You just release this latch, and you have this part. This is the threaded part that goes into the lens. This is a 782 uh, thread size adapter, or, or size thread. If you want to put it on a 77, the only thing that you do is that you look for your 77 adapter here and they go from 77 to 88 and there you have it. But my lens is the 16 to 35 and the 24 to 70, which is what I use the most for landscape or for any kind of photography. They are 82 threaded, so it's really nice. Now, in the top here, we got this wheel. It's a, this is aluminum, this is metal. The, nothing here is plastic. Everything here is very well constructed. So these wheels allows you for you to move the polarizer filter that goes into the other side. This is the polarizer filter. You put it in here and you just screw on it. And when you screw on it, it goes very easy. It's not that complicated like other brands. Now, when you turn, you can see the filter turning, which is amazing. This is really easy to use. 
okay now that you have this part here what you do is you take the holder for the filter you put it inside those those grooves you pull this uh, this uh, level and that's it now you got the polarizer on it if you're gonna need it if you're not gonna need it I don't recommend you for you to put it if you're gonna need it go ahead and put it but now even with the filters on and with the system installed on the lens you are able to turn it now in here in these uh, spaces is where we put the filters and I'm gonna show you right now we got three slots and I'm gonna put the 24 to 70 here and show you how to mount this into the lens Now that we have here the A7 Mark II with the 24 to 7, my beloved 24 to 70, I'm gonna show you how you put this in. As I said before, you just release this little latch for you to get this part out. And this is the part that goes into the lens. It's going with the polarizer filter looking outside the lens. Just put it. Turn it backwards a little bit, so in the row. Now that you have mounted, you can see that you have access here to the wheels to turn the filter. Okay, now that I have it mounted here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the system. Just take this latch, this groove, put it on the other side, make sure that they are tight, and that's it. Now, even with the system on it, you are able to turn the little wheels and turn the filter. Now, what I'm going to show you is how you can put the filters in here. Okay, now we have the whole system here. I'm going to get one of my uh, NDs. This is a three stop ND, solid ND. I'm going to put it on there. So, usually, the very first filter that you're going to use. You want to make sure that what it says Nisi here in the front is facing outside to the front. And you're going to, the very first uh, filter, you're going to put in the very first slot, just like this. There we go. Now we got the first filter already in place. If I want to use a second filter, I still have two more slots to work with. But I'm going to show you how you can put a larger filter or basically a grad stop filter. This is a four stop grad filter. As you see here, this is a 100 by 150 millimeters filter from Nisi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right in front of it in the very second loops. I made a mistake here guys, call the police, I put on the second slot, not in the first one. Okay, you fix this. Okay, and now I'm going to put the grad filter. I'm gonna put it, for this I'm gonna put on the very last one, so you guys can have a good look at it. And now what I have is the solid in the back and my grad filter. In the front so one of the cool thing is that you can turn this you can rotate very easy the filter if you are in an environment where you are not complete level and you need for this grad ND to be uh, moved or, or it can be angled in a specific angle it's very easy to you to do just by turning it now remember I have three slots so what I'm gonna do let's say you got a sky that is way blow out you need a lot of filtration but you want to have more gradation on some parts than other so the first thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna put in the very next slot second filter okay and let's say that's good all the way up down but I still need more gradation just to a very small part of the sky. Well, then I'm gonna put my third filter. Okay, push it down. I'm gonna fit just the part that I want. 
As you see here, I am using here three filters on this filter system and still the system is moving really really easy and I still have way for me to move my circular polarizer in there. Now guys, now that we have seen how to put the lens here, let's go in location and let's do if we can do it that easy again. We're gonna go to the Mayan Museum or the Mayan Heritage Museum in Merida, Yucatan here in Mexico, which is a very, very famous building. Hopefully they're not gonna kick us out because you have to have permit to go there and we don't have permit. But we're gonna go anyway and see if we can take a couple of pictures, mostly to show you how easy it is to work with this system on the field and hope that we have a lot of clouds on the sky because what I wanna do is to show you how you can get those very soft skies with clouds using the 10 stop filter. So let's go over there, stay tuned.